What's going on guys? Welcome back into the channel. Welcome back into the San Francisco Giants franchise. In today's episode, I think what we want to do is we want to at least roll through the month of June and get to a point where we can maybe start looking at the team and deciding which directions we want to go in terms of trades and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and simulate through some of these games and just see where we stand and then take a, a deeper look at the team and decide, you know, what kind of directions do we need to go in terms of maybe beefing up the roster for our playoff push and event hopefully championship run you know we'll see what happens on that end of things maybe we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves but certainly going to be on the lookout for some players to add to the team so let's go ahead like I said I'll sim through this month and see where we stand at the end of June So we do take a two-game series win there against St. Louis, and that's a nice one to get. We do have the Colorado Rockies up next here. The Rockies are always interesting because sometimes we sweep them and sometimes they sweep us. They're always a team that puts up a fight. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what happens in this series. I was a little bit worried about this Colorado series once we lost the first game because these series against them, like I said, tend to be a sweep one way or another. We did end up bouncing back, though, and getting two wins against them and taking that series. Now, we have the Cubs uh, with a an interesting little break here with this two-game series, two game, yeah, two game series against the Angels, and then another game again, or another series against the Cubs following that. So, a really interesting stretch right here. So, let's go ahead and see what happens against the Cubs. Um, and maybe we'll be able to get something done here to close out the month. So very similar circumstances here against Chicago as against Colorado. We did lose the first game, and it had me a little bit worried, especially with this being a four-game series. But we came out strong in the next three games, putting up a lot of runs, 8-2, to 8-4, to four, and 9-5 to five in the next three games, taking a series win there against Chicago. Now this... Angels series I think is going to be interesting this is a team that's doing really well right now almost as good as us and this is a team that is coming off of a World Series win so I'm going to be real interested to see how our team can compete against a team that is as successful as they are at the current point in time and this will be a really good test for our team here at the end of the month. All right, so moment of truth, we won at least the first game of this series, and we lose the second one, 1-5. to five. So a two-game split there, not too bad of a result for us. Let's go ahead and see what happens with this Chicago game to finish out the month. It looks like we are going to take a 2-3 to three L, and we're going to go to 47-29 and 29 to finish out the month of June, heading into the Chicago series here at the beginning of the month of July. So let's see where that puts us in terms of the division. We are now a half game back of the Dodgers. Um, now, on the calendar here, I had to replay this Colorado series, or actually re-sim just this third game in the Colorado uh, uh, series because I accidentally clicked out of the franchise saving-wise and had to go back through. So we did have a different score going on here with this game, but... With that being said, I think a really nice finish to the month of June, and I think no excuses at this point not to add to the team. You guys can see how close this race is with us right behind the Dodgers at a half game, and like I said, we do have some series going against them at the end of the season that are going to be absolutely crucial to making the playoffs for this team. All right, so now it's time to look at some of the stats here for this team heading into the, the trade deadline month and see where we need to add to the team. Our rotation is absolutely on fire. So we've got Logan Webb pitching 247, Tyler Bede pitching 235, and Jojo Romero pitching 278. Then on top of that, our four and five are doing really well for themselves. Connor Menez, 324, which is really solid, and then a 435 for the fifth pitcher in Sean Jelly, who is just recently called up. Really doing well there. In terms of our bullpen, I'm actually pretty happy with the performances across our bullpen as well. I'm thinking maybe what we could do is add one better reliever in place of Zach Little, who currently has a 502 ERA, um, but certainly something that I think that uh, might be one of the only positions of need here within our uh, pitching staff. So I think that the major areas of need for our team right now would be the outfield because Steven Duggar is not batting do too well. He's not doing so hot out there in right field. He does It does show that he's hot right now, but he's been struggling up to this point. Randy Rosarena has really been struggling, so I think he's going to be looking for a new home. He does have nine home runs on the season, but really bad batting average for him. Um, we are getting pretty good production out of most of the other players here. I do think Blaze Jordan should probably be taken out of the DH role and put more into a bench role. 
Um, but we are getting good production elsewhere. I think that, uh, you know, we don't really have too much need. Marco Luciano is not doing the best in the world at the moment, but he will continue to progress. I think that maybe we should be on the lookout for a legit outfielder, and uh, or maybe we should look internally to call somebody up. So based on performances here in the minor leagues, I think the move here is to bring up Joe Adele to the major leagues and give him a shot at center field and trade away Randy Arozarena, or maybe stick Randy Arozarena into some type of a bench role or something like that. Obviously, when we brought in Arozarena, it was more of a risky move, and it was a move where you know we didn't uh, know 100% how it was going to pan out. We also set ourselves up with a relatively cheap contract to be able to trade him away. Uh, so we'll be looking at doing some of those things here as we move into into July. I think what I'm going to first do is I'm going to explore a trade option for a Rosa Reina and then probably call Joe Adele up. So what we're going to go ahead and do here with Randy Arozarena is we're actually going to do a very interesting trade with the Phillies. And so the Phillies, looking at their team, they could use some outfielding help. They don't really have anybody in center field. They really have nothing in left field. And so what we're going to be doing, and they really don't have much in right field either behind Bryce Harper, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be shipping them off Lamont Wade Jr., who plugs in as an immediate starter for them and is a guy that is absolutely hot at the plate right now. This is a guy that's, that was uh, batting up in the 300s. He's now at 250, so he was in a tiny bit of a slump, but has been doing really well off of the bench for us and last year batted over 300 off of the bench for the entire season. So this is going to be a good player here to add into their left field and start immediately for them, as well as Randy Arozarena. Now, this is a guy that maybe is just looking for a different change of scenery or something like that, should slot in to start for them at center field right now. And then we're also going to send them our relief pitcher, Zach Little, in return. So we're giving them a haul in order to get back one of the better relief pitchers in this franchise right now in Jose Alvarado. Now, this is somebody that I think is really going to help the back end of our bullpen. This is somebody that's going to be huge for us, and I really wanted to make a big splash here heading towards the trade deadline to make something happen. So this is going to be our one splash at this point in the season. Now we might make some more trades depending on how things go, but I really like the looks of this and we'll have to talk in a minute about how this changes where the prospects are at in our franchise. So the very first effect of this is this is going to bring Joe Adele up to the major leagues. This is his time to shine. We're going to give him a shot at the majors, and he's going to start for us. He's going to be thrust into a starting role. Now, he's a really good athlete. He's not particularly exceptional in any area if you look at his player card, but somebody that I've been waiting to get called up to the major leagues here for a little while, and that's going to help us out tremendously. Now, outside of that, we do not have a whole lot going on in the majors in terms of backup roles, so we are going to be looking to call somebody up here, whether it be an infielder or outfielder. And so, you know, there were some free agent players that I picked up out there that would be interesting to call up. I think that uh, there are a couple players down here in the minor leagues that have been doing decently well for us that might deserve a call up. And so I think what we're going to do here to start off is we're probably going to call up first baseman Alejandro Feliz, because this is a guy that I think can do some stuff for us um, and should be able to help us out up here at the major league level. So he's in our uh, single A system right now. And actually, I don't think I'm going to be able to call him up because he's not on the 40 man roster. So give me a second. I'm going to have to look around to see what I can do here. You know what? We might as well just pull the trigger on it right now. We're going to call up Elliot Ramos to the major leagues. He is a little bit cold right now, but he was batting two, over 250. I'm going to give him a shot. We'll see what happens. It's not like one of those moves where I absolutely need to call this guy up, but it is a move where I think that that could help our team. And so that's where we're going to go in terms of heading into July. We'll see what happens with that. Um, and I think that these guys will have some success now that they're up in the majors. Although I really like out of anything, the pickup of Jose Alvarado, this is going to be an absolutely massive pickup for our bullpen. He's going to slot in there really well with Maranta and actually take some of the pressure off of Maranta and Barriger to do it all. Uh, so I think that that's going to be really nice for what we have going on here. And that'll do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you have a good one.